Hey, welcome back. It's Casey here, and I am fortunate to be in the studio with our good friends Aaron from Red Buffalo and our and uh, yeah. studio dog Otis. Studio dog Otis, just yes. uh, rolling around, acting like he owns the place. So uh, good to have you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on today. Of course, of course. And. Yes. Uh, you know, Otis is making sure that you're feeling right at home today. Uh, if you're wondering why I have more energy, and maybe Otis too, it's because she's here from Red Buffalo yes. Cafe and of course brought our Americano is what I'm drinking today. It's what is you're drinking right? today, but we do have all the, the fall seasonals going. One of our favorites is our pumpkin spice chai. Mm. Um, so it's kind of a twist on the pumpkin spice latte and it's a, one of our chai drinks and it's so delicious. But I always tell people, if you can think of it, we can make it. We can get your drink, you know, just how you want it to be. We have a soy milk and almond milk for those who have a lactate issue or we have a bunch of gluten-free choices as well for some of our food items. Right, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, now this chai sounds delicious. It's about that time of year, isn't it? it for pumpkin spice, it's that time of year. We all, I mean, we always have chais year round. We carry two different types. Uh, the standard chai we carry is by Third Street. They're a Boulder company. Um, they're an all organic, non-GMO company. They make our standard chai, but then we carry we brew our own um, unsweetened, caffeine-free rooibos chai, which I actually mm. really, really like, because I like an unsweetened chai, and they're really hard to find an unsweetened chai in some places. Sure. Um, so that's kind of my go-to on the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the afternoons when I don't need that caffeine kick. Right. I, you can do that hot. You can do it. You can do it hot. Ice. You can do it iced. The weather's still nice enough for the ice drinks. We've been doing lots of fun iced ones lately still it too. It is. You still have your patio open, right? We do. And it's so nice, especially when the leaves start to change because we do have um, some cottonwoods out there and they'll change. And the fishing is still amazing right there. And it's just 20 feet from the back door. Right. Um, and uh, Cutthroat Anglers is our, our neighbors. They can hook you up with all your fly fishing needs to get it all started. Sure. That's so. great. So you can get out there and have a cup of uh, Whatever you'd like, Whatever iced you'd or hot, like, and yeah. then watch them fish. So that's great out there. And then uh, coming up in October, you've got some activities and kind of getting ready for that. I kind of look at our September, October time as really like uh, when we settle back into our local population a little bit more. Uh, right. we, you know, our library books say, well, that's year round. And that's just a great way to fundraise for the libraries. But uh, Pumpkin Fest is October 12th. That's a super fun event for the town of Silverthorne. And it's great for all the local families and kids. They give away. Um, tons of pumpkins this year, well almost tons, uh, 1,700 <laughs> pumpkins is how many pumpkins are given away this year. They'll have bouncy house, uh, petting zoo, face painting, we'll be there with cho hot chocolate and coffees as well. Yeah. And then I always say, our, you know, a good motto of ours is uh, buy local, be local. When you support your local businesses, you're supporting your local communities. We do a lot of um, donations and event stuff for the Silverthorne Elementary School. Right. Um, they'll, uh, not until November, but they have a food for kids over break program that we help uh, sponsor and refund that one a little bit and there's a lot of other things too but we really try to keep everything in a local feel so whether you're visiting here you live here or you just come up a few times a year it's really good to just get to know your local places we'll be happy to chit chat about where's the best trail to hike right now um, what's the best time of year to do something or you know if there's a good concert going on all those little things your local coffee shops are like the best place to find out that sort of information absolutely and this time of year you know coming up in the next two months uh, it's tough to find local places that might be open but you're staying open throughout the slow throughout season, the mud right? season yep we'll be open um, we open at six o'clock on weekdays 6 30 on weekends and we stay open all the way to 5 30 so you got about 11 hours to really kind of make your best we have free wireless internet um, we have a faxing station scanning station if you need to you know it's that time of year to renew uh, rents and leases yes we get lots is. of people who print those <laughs> off and fax them out and, that's great it's yeah. a great location to do it and uh you know, of course, coming up, we have our winter, so you'll be very busy up then. We but, will be. Um, through these next couple months, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. It is, and, and a really good way to keep up with that is our Facebook page, which is redbuffalocafe.com. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, that's uh, redbuffalocafe.com is the website. It has a link to our Facebook page, which is Red Buffalo Cafe there. And we throw up just lots of fun little information, some tidbits, um, things we're doing, if there are any changes or unexpected stuff going on, or just uh, kind of being a little gossip center for Town of Silverthorne as well. Absolutely, yeah, lots of fun facts on their Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you're located where? We're at 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. So that's just a quarter mile off the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit, right next to the, the Summit States Transfer Station, the Silverthorne Pavilion, the Rec Center. All of that, we're just so central, you can just pull in and out and on your way. Great. Well, so if you're coming up from the west part of the state on I-70, you want to make sure and stop 
by uh, Red Buffalo. We've got some great things there. And of course, to see our lovely friends over there. We, uh, so make sure and check that out and it'll be a great fall season. And I'm already looking forward to that pumpkin. Pumpkin chai. fest. Yes. Oh, and pumpkin the pumpkin chai. Pet fest as well. So yes, and while I'm gonna enjoy my Americano here, uh, that was uh, a great time here with you. And yeah, thanks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. And uh, we should be back with some more. Again, we've got our watch and win competition coming up in a little bit with the question, giving away a $25 gift uh, card to Burke and Riley's this week. Nice. So some good stuff, but stay tuned and we'll be back with more.